Welcome back to Marketplace Middle East. Of course, the region is dealing with intense insecurity right now, but businesses are still trying to turn a profit. In the ravaged specter of Syria's civil war, the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights are still producing grapes for wine. Ian Lee now on trying to make wine during war. The sun rises over the Golan Heights, burning off the cold morning mist. The perfect time to pick wine grapes. Druze and Arabs from nearby villages harvest the ripe fruit. Israel occupied this strategic plateau from Syria in the 1967 war and turned it into a major wine producing region. These grapes are bound for the Pelter winery. A conveyor belt delivers them to a sorter. Fruits from stems, the grapes then slither toward a slow press. Old techniques give way to modern. No feet stomping here to create their more than 100,000 bottles of wine a year. Co-owner Tal Pelter runs the multi-million dollar winery. We find him testing wine in a room full of oak barrels, or what he calls expensive tea bags. When you go taste barrels, usually you, s you know where we started, and uh, you want to see the progress in development of flavor. The wineries attract tourists, people wanting to taste directly from the source, like Zvi and Rachel Spiegelman. We wine lovers. I don't understand a thing about wine, so I just enjoy it. My husband is the uh, wine connoisseur. He knows the years and the blends and uh, everything else. I just, I go along with him, and um, this is how we stay married for 32 years. So. <laughs> Suddenly, a siren blares. Workers and tourists take cover, exposing the surreal reality of the Golan, wine tasting next to a deadly civil war. A few fields over, Syrian rebels and government troops exchange fire. The Golan hasn't been left unscathed. When the strike came in and exploded once it hit the roof, leaving divots on the ground, shrapnel like this peppered the walls and injured one person. The tanks, too, holding the wine were hit, spilling tens of thousands of bottles worth of wine all over the ground. It took our uh, very calm, let's say, um, lifestyle and shook it up a bit, uh, but I'm, it's not something to be afraid of. Pal sympathizes with his neighbors across the border, but he's not allowing it to affect his life. As proof, the company is expanding, keeping their wine exclusive by diversifying into other markets, kosher wine and cognac. So the harvest and wine process continues in the shadow of a war. Ian Lee, CNN, The Golan Heights. Expansion plans there despite all the insecurity. For more about the program or to see our reports or interviews again, visit our website, cnn.com slash MME. You can reach out and send us a message on Facebook and follow what I write on my Twitter handle. And that's all for this edition of CNN Marketplace Middle East. I'm John Defterius. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.